Good morning, Cancer. This is Renee, and welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you so very much. Cancer, this is your reading for December the 15th through the 31st. Let's see what we have for Cancer. Okay, we have recovery. So yeah, you may be recovering for something, but I feel like you also have discovery. There's something that you're finding out. There's something that's coming through. It may be that you were ill. You're recovering from being sick or you're healing from some sort of situation. Let's get some more cards for cancer we have divine matrix yeah so and you also have into me i see so what are you seeing cancer hmm. yeah with this divine matrix i feel like you're you're really finding your healing I feel like you're finding your good health. Oh, oh, too many cards. Too many cards. Let's try this again. What else do we have for cancer for December 15th through the 31st? There we go. We have air magic at the bottom we have change and progress yeah so i feel like you are you're really really working on something let's get some uh, uh animal spirit let's see what Spirit wants to let you know. What does Spirit want to let you know at the moment? Okay. We have the pronghorn again. Do you know every sign so far that I have read for has gotten this card? No matter how much I shuffle. Okay, you have the pronghorn. Action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with your confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. Definitely. Let's see what you have on the bottom. Okay. At the bottom you have the cougar. Assertive. In silence, you find your power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and the confidence to succeed. Definitely. So, Spirit is actually, Spirit is wanting all the signs to take action at this moment. Um, I don't feel like some a coincidence that. Each sign that I have read for so far has gotten this pronghorn um, spirit leading them to take action on some sort of situation that they're dealing with. Let's see what message the angels would like to provide for you. What do your angels want to let you know at this time, Cancer? What's the message from your angels for December 15th through the 31st for Cancer? You have Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Yeah, so make sure to stay positive at this moment and put out your intentions of whatever it is that you really want. You also have Rochelle. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Yeah, so 
I feel like, you know, all of the signs are really manifesting at the moment. And I feel like action needs to be taken. Um, what, what tarot do we have for cancer? What's in store for cancer for December the 15th through the 31st? What's in store for cancer? Okay, you have the world. So yeah, you're ending some cycle. You're beginning some new journey. You have the Nine of Wands. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We have the Hermit. We have the Chariots. Lots of major arcana so far. We have the Emperor. Wow, strong energy so far. Cancer, strong energy. And we also have the Six of Cups. Okay, what else do we have for Cancer? We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Justice card. We have the lovers. Okay, Cancer, I see you. We have the four of swords. And we have the four of pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the knight of wands. So I believe that with spirit letting you know that you need to take action, I feel like that you're acting on that. Um, very much so. I feel like you're taking action in some sort of situation and I feel like it's going to really progress you and take you far um, on your journey. Now in this first row we have the world, we have the nine of wands, and we have the hermit. So I feel like you're ending a cycle. I feel like you've completed some kind of lesson that you went through and I feel like you're at a new beginning and I feel like you know that lesson that you just went through whatever it is has really left you a little drained it's left you kind of in a negative energy but I want you to lift up your positivity I want you to maybe meditate and contemplate that's the reason why you have the hermit here I feel like after this ending and this these feelings that you're left with i feel like you need to go within you need to find your light again you need to feel more enlightened feel relief i believe that's the reason why we have this recovery in this matrix it could be that you know you it, it could be just a sickness that you were going through maybe you were ill and now it's left you really drained and really um, still not feeling like yourself. But I, what I'm feeling is that you need to go within a little bit to really bring yourself back to your starting point. Bring yourself back to um, where you were because you're very powerful, Cancer especially with this emperor energy right here i feel like you are very powerful you are you're finding your strength you're working on it and now i feel like you're surrounding yourself with family so i think that that's a good thing and i do believe that you could be moving in the near future i and i believe that you're moving literally I believe that you're moving to a new destination. It could be for a job. It could be just that you're moving into a new apartment, a new house. Maybe you closed on a house. Uh, but I, I feel like you're moving to a new destination. You're finding your power. You're feeling more independent. You're feeling more um, self-sustainable. That's what I'm saying. Now, you have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Justice card. So I feel like whatever it is that just ended, whatever that was, 
that brought you to the world, that brought you to this ending. I feel like it has you looking towards the future. It has you making more plans. It has you really growing in your situation. It may be that this ending has really made you do some soul searching because you also have the justice card. So I feel like whatever this was, um, this was something that may have been done to you, but I feel like you've overcome it. I feel like you've overcome it and I feel like you came across on the better side, if that makes any sense. I feel like um, karma has come in and kind of save the day. I know that may not make sense to you, but I, I feel like whatever it is, I feel like karma was on your side. I feel like you came ahead in the situation. Okay, now at the end here, we have the lovers. We have the four of swords and we have the four of pentacles. So if you're not already in a love situation, I feel like this is love coming in to fully recover you. This is to make you feel uplifted. I feel like this is going to make you overjoyed. This is going to give you the complete healing that you were looking for. And I feel like cancer, this is your long-term stability. This is something that you're going to want to hold close. This is something you're going to want to hang on tight to because this person I feel like this person is could be very well your soulmate. But I feel like if this person isn't in your life now, I feel like this person is coming in very slowly. But by December, you, you will meet this person. This person will be in your life. And I feel like it's going to bring you a new satisfaction is how I feel. You'll feel a new satisfaction about life itself. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see what else Spirit has to say. Let's get an a outcome for the situation. Let's get an outcome. What is an outcome for Cancer? For the month of December 15th through the 31st, what it is in outcome. Okay, and we have the Six of Cups again. So I feel like you may be drifting back. You may be thinking about happy thoughts. You may be surrounding yourself by family. Um, this may be a reunion that you're having. And because it's the holidays, it's not very... Um, that's not very surprising because a lot of times in the holidays, we spend a lot of time with family. Um, we see people that we haven't seen in a while. And I feel like that's exactly what you're going to be doing. So I feel like you're going to be surrounding yourself with people who love you and people who you love. Okay, so you do have the lovers that wanted to pop out again. So now some people like to say that this could be an ex coming in from the past i don't want to say that but it may well be um but yeah you have the lovers again and i feel like <laughs> this is definitely some kind of soulmate situation you have the lovers twice in this reading and you know what i may pull another deck to see if i get a lover the lovers the third time um what else do we have for Cancer for December? Oh, that's way too many cards. December 15th through the 31st. What do we have for Cancer? Cards just want to pop, pop out, fall out, all kinds of cards. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like, Cancer, you're coming out of your shell. You're finally seeing yourself in a new light. You're, you're gaining your confidence back. And I feel like it may be because of this love situation that's coming through. Um, 
the eight of swords this can be communication so i feel like you're communicating back and forth a lot and i feel like it's got you into a brand new beginning of your thoughts and your um thoughts and your dreams about this person i feel like you're dreaming about them yeah you have the high priestess so i feel like your intuition is open your intuition is fully capable of seeing what's coming through for you i feel like you're trusting yourself in this situation you feel like you have all the knowledge you feel like you know this person very well. So this may be someone that you've known from the past. Because with this, this Ace of Swords, I feel like you're in a energy of knowing. That's very interesting. Very interesting, Cancer. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pull another deck. See... What do we have for Cancer for December 15th through the 31st? What's in store for Cancer for the 15th through the 31st? The Four of Pentacles. So yeah, you, you are definitely looking for your long-term stability. And look at this. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my gosh. The lovers at the bottom. You know what? Yes, this is your month, Cancer. This is definitely your month. Not only do you have three lovers cards that wanted to pop out in this reading, you also have the four of pentacles twice. So I can see that your, your stability is coming back to you. You are looking for your long-term security. You are you're getting exactly what you desire that's how i'm feeling you're getting exactly what you desire <laughs> beautiful beautiful reading okay let's get some moonology cards let's see what the moonology has to say to you okay we have um last quarter moon in leo lighten up we have last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind, Cancer. Leave the past behind. Leave, leave the past in the past. The past is dead and gone. It is dead and buried. There's no need on digging up them bones. Let them bones lie right there. Okay, what else do we have for cancer? Shine. New moon in Leo. Just shine. And I feel like that's what you're doing right now. I feel like you're going to be very happy in your situation in December, cancer. And first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at this analogy here. What do we have for cancer? I would like to shuffle first before. Okay, let's see. We have emotions are running high. So I feel like with these lover's cards coming out, I feel like it's going to leave you in total excitement. I feel like you're very excited about something new. You're very excited for this new destination you're coming to. And I feel like conclusions are within reach. The full moon eclipse. What else do we have for cancer? Okay, we have a time for healing. Yeah, and I feel that's what you're doing. And I feel like... I feel like your healing is going to be complete. Or very close to that hold your vision hold your vision cancer and at the bottom you have work through your fears new moon in scorpio okay 
Okay, let's get a card. Let's get a card from the universe. Let's see what the universe wants to say about this situation. What does the universe want to say to Cancer for December 15th through the 31st? Okay, the universe has my back. Exactly. You know what? Your angels and spirits are watching over for you. They're watching over you. They are protecting you. Um, they have your back in situations. They want to let you know that you're fully supported. When I'm in alignment with love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Exactly. And I don't feel like you're going to be moved during this time, Cancer. I don't think that anything's going to be able to move you. I am the dreamer of my dream. Yeah, and you are the creator of your creation. You're the designer. My vibes speak louder than words. Exactly. And I can feel your positivity. I feel that I can feel your excitement. At the bottom, you have the presence of love will always cast out fear. Yeah, so whatever you're fearful about, I think that, you know, um, I think all your fears are going to dissipate. They're just going to vanish with this situation. Okay, let's see what's going on for Cancer. Now, I'm going to pull some cards to... Um, give you some insight what you can do if you face any challenges or obstacles along your way. Um, let's see what cancer can do to overcome any obstacles or challenges that come their way this month. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, be very joyful, be humorous. Um, take it all in stride, laugh. Just laughing more makes you positive. And trust, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yes, follow your intuition. Your intuition will, nine times out of ten, will lead you in the right direction. And pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Thank you. And you at the bottom you have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Yeah, you know, we can't know everything, Cancer. Now this is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity, Cancer. And I think this is going to be a beautiful month for you. Many blessings to you, Cancer. Love and light.